guys welcome to my channel welcome to diy art blast so today i'm gonna show you how i paint a very cute painting so first i'm gonna use uh, my framed canvas uh, i mean a uh, stretch canvas it's a 12 by 12 size and uh, i'm just using a pencil to just uh, draw this very quickly and uh, I'll show you what colors I use, what brushes I'm going to be using. So let's start drawing this first. Now, um, again, I'm using this uh, 12 by 12 size of canvas. Now, if you are new to my channel uh, and if you like this video, don't forget to uh, give a big thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to my channel. So let's start with this painting. So first thing, um, I'm going to draw a very cute uh, kind of a panda here. And... Uh, I'm gonna draw a nice big panda here so so let's see I'm gonna add a nice big uh, head right here I'm also gonna add a little hat right here and just a big body area down here all right so let's start with a nice big head so let's see maybe I'm gonna make my head maybe this much bigger maybe right here okay so i'm basically just drawing like an oval shape i hope you can see my pencil line it doesn't have to be perfect you can always go back make it bigger smaller i'm gonna make it a little bit more wider okay now i'm gonna add just the body area here so let's see maybe from here and down now both sides doesn't have to be equal but i think this is better and just gonna add a little like arm coming in the front on both sides. Oh, let's see. Okay. Like that. Okay, same thing on the other side. Now again, both are not the same, but okay, I think I like that. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And you can also use your eraser if you feel like you see a lot of pencil line. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to also make this bit better all right that's better now let me correct the that's okay that's better now i'm just gonna add a nice big uh litter i mean nice big hat okay so let's see my hat is maybe coming from this is the end of that hat and uh, right there and just Okay, sometimes I don't even know how to even explain you this, but you can see what I'm drawing, right? Just a big hat here. Santa hat. Nice big one.
Okay, that's better. All right, now I'm going to add a nice big, um, not big, but just clear eyes here and uh, his nose. So my panda have a big uh, black black patch around the eye. So I'm just gonna add that. It's already looking cute. <laughs> okay, nice big circle for the eye. Okay, that's cute. Okay, um, let me just correct my shape a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is already so cute. Okay, so okay, I'm not. I'm now done with this part. I feel like I really want to add like a little fit. I still have a little space for that. So, uh let me go ahead and do that so for the oopsie okay um uh, for the feet uh, i'm just gonna kind of add a little half kind of a circle here if you have more space and if you are using a bigger canvas you can just make the whole big panda if you want okay now i'm just gonna kind of add a little half circle just leaving just maybe a tiny bit of space between the arm and the, the feet here Okay, the same thing on the other side. Like a nice baby cute panda. Okay, I think like that. And just a little pow print, I mean pow um, shape on the bottom like that. Okay, that's so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna make my head just maybe a little bit better. Okay, I forget to add a nice big uh, ears. So let me add that. Now the ears are actually behind this uh, hat. So let me correct my hat. Okay, and the ears are maybe right here. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, there's no right or wrong here, but... Okay. I mean, I want to bring it a little bit more higher. Maybe right here. Okay, that's better. Just want to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, I hope you can see my correct line here. <laughs> Okay, so it's right here. Mm 
let me make it darker so you guys can see that because I know it's still not clear. So, again, from here to here. Okay, I'm not gonna go back now. I think I like this. Okay, so let me go ahead and make all of my pencil line a little bit darker so I can see that. Okay, yeah, I'm all done. All right, so now almost done. Sorry. Okay, I'm all done. Now let me go ahead and show you what colors I'm gonna be using today. Okay, so okay, so now I'm only using three colors right now. If I feel like I want to use uh, the other color, I'll show you what color I use. But right now, I'm only going to be using three colors, black, white, and red. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the background. So for that, I'm going to use my flat big brush, which is right here. Uh, again, uh, let's see if I can find the number on this brush. These are too old. Oh, it says number six. All right. So now uh, I'm going to work on my background. And again, I'm using uh, this flat brush. It's a uh, number six brush. Okay. I'm just going to just try to make kind of a light gray color first so i'm just gonna mix it on my plate just a very small i mean a little bit of black more white to make a the lightest color here okay and i'm basically just applying like everywhere on the background now it's okay to come a little bit inside on your pencil line i am gonna go back on the background one more time to add another layer so i'm not too worried about how it looks like right now so since i'm using a lighter color i i should be able to see my pencil line after this color dry and if you are painting on a canvas like i am uh, you can also do the edges as you are as you're going so again i'm just using nice light color here So there is a snow around this panda. And I'm showing you this like very quickly because the background don't really take too long. Because I really want to spend more time on the panda, right? So you can take your time and if you feel like I'm going too fast, you can uh, pause the video and uh, start again whenever you are done with the background.
Alright, so that's all I'm gonna do. Now I'm just gonna start working on my panda. So first, let me clean my brush. And I'm using, let's say, this type of a round brush. This is number... It says it's number 10. Alright, so now, um, let me take a little water. And I'm just gonna work on the ears first uh, so let me start applying a little bit of a uh, kind of a, a black color here first so let me take a little black and i'm gonna cover the whole um ears so something like this i'm good i'm just gonna add more texture later so right now all i'm focusing right now is to just cover my whole ears Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm just showing you like the easiest way to do this part, okay? So. All right. I'm just going to let this dry now and I'm going to work around this eyes area so first i'm gonna cover the outside i mean yeah outside of this uh, eyes so i'm talking about this area you can also use your small brush if you like i'm just comfortable using my this round brush Okay, same thing on the other side. Okay, same thing on this little nose. Okay, it's not perfect, but I can that's good okay all right now i'm just gonna work on the this arm i have here so first thing i'm just gonna do the outline for now so basically i'm just going around my pencil line All right, now I'm just gonna clean my brush. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me just do the same thing on the other side. Now, if you wanna watch me first for this part, you can, and then you can do this part. Uh, so again, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm just trying to as quick as possible because I don't want the other area, other side to dry. I like this now I'm just gonna clean my brush make sure you don't have too much water on your brush 
Okay, now I'm just going to take some white paint. Just a white paint. Again, I'm showing you like the easiest way to do this part because um, there are so many ways you can do this, but I find this much easier for the beginners. And I'm just applying white on the white area. Okay, I'm not touching my black right now. Okay, now I'm just going to slowly go over my black. So something like this. And slowly I'm going in my on my white area. So that way you will have something like this. This is only one layer. We're going to go back again. So let me go ahead and clean my brush again. All right. Make sure you don't have too much water and same thing on the other side i'm just gonna take a little bit more white and i'm just gonna go around that black area okay thing like that i'm gonna do the same thing for the this feet i have here so i'm just gonna take some black just going around Same thing right here. Okay, I'm also going to just connect this area, uh, so maybe something like this from here. Here. Okay, I made just my panda a little bit more, more fat okay all right so now i'm just gonna clean my brush again make sure you don't have too much water and i'm just taking white and just applying white on the white area and i'm just going over the black and white both Okay, I am just going to clean my brush. Okay, now I'm just going to work uh, on my ears area now. And uh, I'm just going to apply just maybe a little bit of white. So my ears are still kind of a little red, but not too much. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of white like that, just on the top of this area top of the ear area trust the process again it might look a little weird but okay same thing on the other side it's okay i have to turn my canvas because it's not that easy okay all right so now i'm just gonna have to let this dry a little bit and i'm gonna work on my 
face here first okay so i'm just gonna use kind of a little darker gray than what i have in the background so let me make a little bit of dark gray here okay i'm just gonna make a little dot and see if it's dark enough no not really so i'm gonna make it a little bit more darker okay now i'm just gonna apply it still not too dark let me make it more darker okay okay basically again i'm just doing the same thing i'm just doing the outline first of my face Trying to do a thin outline, not uh, too dark. I mean, too thick. Again, you can also use your small brush, but I'm comfortable with this brush. Okay, that's good. I'm also going to go around this um, nose area I have here. Just the outside of the pencil line. I mean, you can just overlap that. It's okay. This one has to be perfect. And also right here. Okay, I'm just adding like a little kind of a hair like that. Make sure you don't have too much paint on your brush. Just barely like touching my canvas. So once everything is dry, we can use some white paint. And uh, you will still will be able to see this gray color that we are adding right now. So I'm not really going to do a lot, but just maybe a little bit like that. Okay, I'm just going to clean my brush now. Okay, so I'm going to work on the hat now. Okay, so my hat have a little bit of uh, red in it. So first, I'm just going to apply the red. So I'm just using that same brush, red color. And I'm just going to add kind of a strip line there. So let's say I have a line right here. Okay, another one maybe let's not make this too straight I don't want to make it too straight all right same thing here and over here down here it's the the end of the hat sorry I don't know how to even tell you that part but okay just maybe a little bit where it's folding there okay once i do the outline for this hat you'll see more what i'm really doing
Okay, I'll add the white after I add some color on my face here. Okay, so now I'm going to clean my brush and uh, I'm just also going to add a little bit of gray color on this um, body here. Okay, so I'm using that same gray and mostly I'm just going to go around the edges like that. Now leave, leave a little bit of uh, white space around this uh, chin area and the body area so that you can figure out like which one is the where where it's end or where it start the the body area here so You can also do one thing, just make uh, kind of this area a little bit more darker. The area under this face so that you can, you know, figure out which one is where the line is going. Otherwise, both of the color is going to be the same once it's dry and it's going to be hard to figure out. So I'm just going to make, make this area much more darker like that. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'm just gonna clean my brush and uh, let's let it dry like everything and then we'll do anything else. Okay, now you still have time to go back on your background if you like and I'm gonna go back on the background and add some more darker gray around the edges. So I'm just gonna take a little water and a little bit of black and white. And just gonna make a little bit more darker here. Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna make the edges more, oopsie, not red. And I need more, I need more white. Okay. All right, so again, a little bit of black and white. Just adding like a, just a little touch around the edges. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean my brush. And I'm just gonna take just a white. Okay, and I'm also going to add like line, just some lines. This is the easiest way to do it, trust me. So, so that you don't have to go back and forth, take more paint and mix and match and everything. So, okay, now uh, I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything. So basically, I'm just going to go back and forth like this to mix all the colors. Just really making it like a nice big mess, you can say, around the edges. So I like this side of the edge because it's not too dark. I'm just going to also take a little bit more white. Add more white here. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing. As you can see, I'm just using my brush flat like that. And kind of, you can see I'm just rubbing around.
Okay, and I'm just gonna clean my brush. Make sure you don't have too much water. Okay, I'm taking a little bit more white. Because I don't want to make the background too dark, so. Okay, same thing. I'm just gonna kind of rub around the edges. Not going all the way to the edges, but something like this. Not touching the red, but I did already. Okay, so very lightly like rubbing that. Again, there is no right or wrong here. It's just however your preference is, so. Okay, I like the mess that I did here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to clean my brush. And I'm going to basically just let everything dry because it's still too wet. And uh, once it's dry, um, I can work on the other part. Alright, so now everything is almost dry. Like, yeah, almost. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the, the eyes sorry um and i'm gonna use my smallest brush this is number zero size and uh, i'm just gonna use a black paint here and just gonna draw a little circle so it's gonna be slightly a little small here i know trust me it's not too easy to draw a circle especially a too small circle Okay, same thing on the other side. And I'm going to make it a little bit more bigger because it's still too small. Alright, now um, I'm just going to add some, uh, some more texture here, more hair I want to say. Uh, so I'm going to start from the ears because it's the easiest way to start with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some white. So I'm going to work from outside to in. So first, I'm just going to add the white hair around the edge of this ear. So something like this. I'm just going to go outside of that line I have. I'm not going to add too many here, but just as long as I can cover a little bit. Same thing on the other side. Not really adding like too small again. Now I'm just gonna use kind of a light gray color so a little bit darker than what I have in the background so add a couple line here see if it's if it's dark enough or not if it's not then I think it's dark enough for me so that's all I'm gonna do same thing again I'm gonna go all the way to the edges like that on the other side and 
I'm just gonna use a black paint now and uh, yeah basically I'm just adding more hair like that and I'm also gonna add like some hair around the white area that I just added now so around the white hair I just had here earlier just maybe one or two or three or four lines not a lot same thing on the other side now if you feel like you add too much just add whatever color you feel like around that area and that way it's not too dark or too light so I really don't want it to make uh, make something that looks just like a you know kids painting so I'm just adding to show you and uh, to add how I add the hair is like that okay yeah uh, I feel like I want to add more white on the other side so let me go ahead and do that just around the edges just maybe one or two okay all right now I'm gonna do the face area first so let me take my flat brush and just taking the white paint and just applying like a one layer of a white now again I'm doing a like very thin layer here so I still be able to see the background color once this white is dry so I'm not going over on this a black spot I have here just the whole face okay I'm going all the way to the edges where I also add you know that dark kind of a light gray I'm sorry light gray um, outline so again I'm just adding like a very thin layer I'm not really taking too much paint Also gonna cover this whole area Now I'm just gonna let this dry and I'm gonna start working on the other area. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean my brush here. And I'm just gonna use my small brush. Okay, so now I'm just gonna work on this um, arm I have here. And uh, I'm gonna start with the black this time. So let's start adding some hair around the edges over here so basically all I'm doing is hope you can see that is adding some hair coming out like that not going too many times just like one time I think I like that and I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way around this arm okay same thing on the other side to bring this uh, on the gray area this time so starting from the black area and going into my gray
Okay, I'm just gonna add some more hair inside. Just like this, not a lot, but just adding more here. And just maybe one or two around the white lighter area I have here same thing here on the other side I think I like that uh, now I'm just gonna do the same thing for this um, feet I have so this time my brush stroke is um, gonna go upward so uh, let me do the edges first here so this hair going down coming down same thing on the other side hair is coming down gonna go upward again for this little area feet area so something like this it's like coming up it's coming up this way now on the other side it's coming up the other way I hope this is easier for you but um, this is how I usually draw my animals so just trying to make it easier because I add a lot of hair when I draw an animal like a dog or cat but not really adding a lot of hair for this animal here okay, and just some hair around the gray area here same thing on the other side hair is coming this way here and this side going this way I'm just gonna add just very random more hairs on this area here so again I'm just gonna add more hair that's coming inside so something like this I really want to make those data more darker the other side <coughs> as you can see I'm really like you cannot see the end of the arm and the fit on this corner here now okay Alright, I think I like this. I'm just gonna add more hair on this area because I really want to make my panda a little bit more, more fat. <laughs> okay, that's cute. I mean, that's better. Alright, now uh, I'm just gonna add just some white paint on this white area. Here and uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of gray
and really making this a more lighter gray kind of very random hair um, just not really taking any other paint I'm just kind of mixing that area a little bit together with my small brush so that way it looks like there are some hairs on this area like that okay now I'm gonna work on my face okay so now um, I'm gonna make some kind of a light gray color here lighter gray than um, lighter gray than what I have maybe right here so I'll show you how much like how much lighter I'm going here They're like really really light okay now I'm just Again, gonna go around my face. Okay, and then just adding some hair on the face area okay so now uh, I'm just adding some hair like this around the nose and uh, a lot of hair around the edges area like that I'm very very using like a light pressure of my brush and uh, just adding more hairs like that I can see the background color and I can also like add more color on top so there's gonna be more sh different shade of color than just a one gray color there So gonna go outside of uh, my face area just like I did with my black color down here so let me make my gray a little bit more lighter so I'm not using white here just really using like a light gray here So yeah, basically I'm just going to start from here and just going up like that. Cute, okay. So I am actually using a kind of little white more here because that's really going to pop out more. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm also adding some white hair okay and I'm gonna also do the same thing all the way down and if the black is still wet down here make sure that you let it dry completely so that it will be much easier for you to do this part
so when you are not sure when to stop i should say stop okay i'm gonna stop right here and i'm gonna work on that black patch i have here okay so first i'm gonna start with the white kind of a gray i want to say like this lighter gray i have here and i'm mostly gonna apply on the this area of that face I'm going outside of that line make sure I don't see that sharp line around that area okay same thing on the other side okay now I'm just gonna use like darker gray I'm really kind of working on that area to overlap all of these colors on top of each other Now I'm just going to use a black. Let me show you on this side first. So now the hair is going a little upward on this area and then downward on the bottom. Okay. And I'm just going to add more hair. Same thing I'm gonna do on the other side and I have to just turn my canvas because it's easier gonna add more hair around this area here just using black now because I really want to really like uh, make that even Okay, that's cute. Alright, so uh, let's see. I'm just gonna add like a couple more lines here. Okay, I'm just gonna fix my ears too a little bit. Just adding more hair. More thicker hair, I wanna say. So. white area because you know it's not really popping out like I want okay and I really like that better okay so same thing here all right I like this now I'm just gonna also add a little bit of uh, some black hair also on the face but make sure it's you don't have too much paint on your brush and just make sure it's just take a little bit of paint on tip of your bristles and barely like adding uh, maybe two or three lines like that okay same thing on the other side okay oh that's cute 
Okay, so now uh, I'm just gonna also add some black hair. Let's see, maybe right here. Okay, same thing. Okay, just very randomly, I'm adding more hair, like just a black hair. barely like taking any paint on my brush okay all right so now um, I'm just gonna go back on my nose because I feel like it's not the edges are not too per are not uh, sharp enough so I'm just gonna go back to make that sharper so I'm trying to make some uh, paintings and the video kind of a little bit shorter if possible but I cannot because it really takes a little time to you know paint and also talk made that little bit more bigger all right so now I'm just gonna also make the circle around this area kind of a little bit better I want to say so I'm just taking a little bit of white and just going around that white area to you know make it more circly if possible And I'm taking black just a little bit to go around this area. Okay, that's better. Alright, so I'm just gonna add a little white. I'm still using my same brush. Nice big chunk of little white paint. And I'm adding a little circle, I mean just a little dot, right here. And just a small little dot under that circle. Okay, same thing on the other side. Dot on the top. dot under that dot oh so cute okay all right so let's fix the hat and uh, first I'm gonna do the outline so I'm gonna use a gray color kind of a lighter gray here so I'm still using this gray can you believe you only use like three colors for this painting I cannot believe that all right so the first thing again I'm gonna do the outline and uh, let's turn this way so that's easy to do it okay I'm not too worried about this area right now I'm just actually you know let me just use a kind of a darker gray okay just gonna use a darker gray all right now let's do the outline Wherever you cannot see that outline clearly, you can use a little darker gray or maybe just a black color if you like. Not really uh, trying to make a too thin line here, but you know what? You can also use a kind of a sharpie or a marker if you have any. I 
really want to use a black color around this area here so that you guys can also see that clear so now yeah you can see that clearly okay just continue with my shape i have Whenever I'm like drawing a thin line, I cannot talk, guys. Okay. Um. Alright, so I'm just gonna do the outline around the red. This area, this hat, the line is coming from here, going behind this area. And stopping right here. Alright, so now I'm just gonna clean my brush and I'm just gonna make this a little bit lighter because I don't wanna make it too sharp this area right here okay okay so now i'm just gonna apply some white wherever i want to apply white so before i do that let me go ahead and do the bottom of the hat the hat area here so i'm using kind of a little bit darker you know i'm just gonna use a black you know what let's just use a black around this area here okay all right so now i'm just gonna start using some white let me clean my brush and I'm just going to apply on this uh, little bow area or I don't know what it's called. I need to check that. So yeah, I'm just adding a big circle. And uh, I'm also going to add a nice big... Uh, I'm, I don't know why my favorite word for this painting is big. <laughs> I'm keep saying big for this painting. I don't know why. All right, so I'm just gonna take some more white and just gonna go around this circle and adding more hair, you can say, or more fur, you can say. All right, and uh, basically I'm just applying white on the white area, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but just adding white. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to use a kind of a lighter gray here so that you guys can also see. Okay, I kind of use a gray. You can see the difference between this white and this white. I'm not sure if you can on the video, but it is a light gray here I'm using. And I'll use some more white at the end on this area.
that's good okay now i'm just gonna add a little bit of white so like that i don't know if you guys can even see that what i'm doing but um, just adding white And uh, I'm also going to add a little bit of uh, kind of a darker gray around. Here. So that. Make sure you don't take too much water because that happened to me all the time. I take a lot of water and then I end up with too much of water there so okay that's all i'm gonna do now let's see what else i want to do i really want to add a little bit of kind of more darker gray than um what i have here right here so it's something like this so you can see it's kind of a shadow of the head right here okay so just more gray also here oopsie Okay, and I'm going to fix that by adding more black. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm all done. Just one last thing I want to do here very quickly. Uh, actually, two things. So the first thing, I'm going to add a little bit of white. Just a... Uh, Kind of layer oval shape of a white. Just a little highlight. Here. And just a little small dot here. And also here. Well. Let's see. Just a little highlight here here and uh, let's see just taking a little bit of gray and uh, kind of making this lighter because this is too dark and I'm taking more white I'm sorry more black to make it more lighter because I really don't want to make it that dark i mean that light okay i'm almost done <laughs> and uh, i'm just taking a little bit more white to add kind of little nozzles and just more white just a little touch of white on the top okay that's better but still it's two big nozzles so so that's why i said that if you want to watch me first so that you get more idea because I'm, I really have to do some of the part like a couple times, two, three times, times to make that better. So I'm just going to cover the whole thing with the black again. Okay, make sure you don't have water because I'm taking a lot of water. Alright, and just a little touch of white. And just uh, two little white dots. Right here. Right there. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now, uh, again, for the next part, what I'm going to do now, uh, if you want to use a Sharpie or maybe a small black pen, you can also use that. So um, let me show you how I do that. Let me just fix this a little bit. Okay, 
So I'm going to use my small brush and a black paint. Just a tiny little paint. And basically I'm just uh, doing the outline for this nose area here. Okay, so I'm just going to go here. I still have a lot of water. Make sure you also flip your, turn your canvas if you are not comfortable. Try to do it on a, try to do it on a, like one brush strokes will be much easier so okay and a nice big smile cute okay um actually Let's see if I can make this a little bit more lighter. Okay, I don't want it to make it too dark. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back, add, make the this area a little bit better than what I have here so again try to take your time you don't have to rush like uh, I do sometimes just adding white on that area I don't like that part so I'm just gonna use my big brush take a little water add a little water clean again I'm just showing you how I usually if I feel like if I messed up this is how I fix it okay so clean brush taking paint from that area cleaning again Make sure you don't have water. Clean brush again and take almost take all the colors there from there. And I'm just gonna apply plain white because I have white in the background. So You can let this dry. Okay. And then let's try one more time. Well, I like it. Okay, so just want to fix the one more thing, just adding a little bit more white on this area. Okay, guess what? I'm all done. Well, not really. All right, so now um, one, two more things left again. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to make kind of a, a different color here. So I have a black and white here i'm just gonna add like a little touch of red 
Okay, I'm mixing it with the small paint here. And I'm just going to add that on this little pow area. Okay, same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm just going to go over that one more time. Okay, and then just adding just a little black paint around this bottom area because I feel like it's too big for me big for my panda so I'm just trying to fix some of the area here Okay, that's good. <laughs> Alright, so now um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add some snow. And uh, first I'm going to add a little white hair. It's just some white hair around this arm area here. Like maybe four or five lines only, like not a lot. Same thing on the other side. Only on the kind of a light gray area I have here. Okay, maybe I add more than four or five lines. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean my brush and I'm just gonna add some snow. Okay, so for the snow, I'm just gonna go a little wild here and uh, add some snow. So... Just, you know how the snow is, right? Just adding little dots. I need more white. Okay, so first I'm going to add the big chunk of white paint. Um, so maybe right here. Like trying to make it round if possible. You know how the snow is. It's not round, so. Okay, so first I'm adding big dots. Also on the panda, obviously. <gasps> I'm adding a big one right here, another maybe big one here,
Okay, now I'm just going to add some small dots everywhere. And I forgot to add some around the head here. So I'm just going to add like smaller dot here. So I have some snow sitting on this area here. And also some here. Maybe a little here. Okay, and uh, yep, so more snow. Okay, I have some snow sitting on this area here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bunch of dots. A little more white. <clears throat> I don't know if you see my recent uh, other painting, but I like dots. On my all painting, I did a lot of dots. I mean, this is a different painting, of course. Um, but even the other painting, <laughs> I use a lot of dots around. I'm not going everywhere. I'm gonna leave some space so that doesn't look like a you know Should I add a little dot of uh, snow sitting on his uh, nose here? I mean, the background is white, so I cannot really see that, but... Okay, I'm not going too crazy with this dot, but really adding a big, nice snow. Again, a big word. I don't know what's going on with this painting today, but I am keep saying big. Okay, so yeah, I'm almost done with this painting. Uh, don't forget to sign your painting. Remember, you made this just for fun, just for yourself. And you had fun painting, right? So don't forget to sign your painting. And uh, yeah, I'm almost done here. And I hope you guys all have fun painting with me. And uh, if you do, don't forget to again... Uh, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give a big big thumbs up and if you have any question about um, what i'm using or um what you should use in, if you don't have the stuff i have it here you can just let me know in a comment i can get back to you when i see your message but uh, yeah i'm all done here i'm just going back on the bigger white area here because i really want to make them pop more brighter than uh, it was before so all right 
I'm not gonna overdo this and uh, actually you know what I'm gonna do one more thing just adding uh, just maybe one or two small little black line on this uh, big circle I have here okay that's better all right so here I'm all done uh, please let me know what do you think about this painting um, if you paint on a canvas like this you can also do the edges if you like but yeah I'm all done with this painting uh, please let me know what do you think about this painting and I hope you guys all have fun painting this cute panda um yeah so again thank you again for painting and I'll see you next time for another painting and uh yeah take care bye Thank you.